What up, people? Welcome back to some Yu Gi Oh! So, alright, today I built a Chrome Molly deck. Now, I have no idea how it runs, I have no idea how it plays. I seriously just threw it together, and I can see how it could work, and I want to see it work. Some of the cards I'm new to, like, well, actually, most of them I'm new to, I've never actually seen, but some of them I'm not sure if they work the way I want them to or not but we'll get into the profile and then if I need help maybe you guys can help me but we got Chromali Soul Monolith uh, once per turn you can target one Chromali monster you control so it'll become six uh, you can't special summon any monsters during the turn you activate effects of Chromali monsters no problem there everything in this deck is Chromali everything <laughs> so it might be where I downfall but I put two of those in um, I don't know if they'll work maybe I hope then we got uh, Chromali Moai if you control a face up Chromali monster you can special summon this card from or, yeah from your hand in face up defense position so it's if you have them in your hand and you have another on the field you can just special summon them all which is awesome <laughs> then we have uh, Tula Guardian if there's a face-up spell on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only control one of them at a time. That's why I only put one in here. I could actually drop it out, but there are field spells, so I thought, why not just leave one in? The deck is at 48. I'd like to drop eight cards, but... Then we have uh, Chromali Wings... Winged Sphinx. I don't know why it says wings up there on the card. When this card is normal summoned, you can target one level 5 Chromali monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. You can't special summon monsters, you activate this turn except Chromali monsters. So if you haven't noticed, all the Chromali monsters are very low attack. I mean, there's a few 1800s, but most of them are very low. Then we got Chromali Moai Carrier. If your component shows a card and you control no cards, you can special summon this card from your hand. So it's pretty much Cyber Dragon. It's not monsters, though. It has to be cards. So I can't have any back row either. Or a field spell. That sort of hurts. Um, if it comes to the point where I realize this card isn't really doing much for me, it's gone. Then we have uh, Chromali Nebra Disc. Uh, when it's normal summon, you can add one Chromali card from your deck to your hand, except Chromali Never Disc. If this card is in your graveyard, all face up and all face up monsters you control are Chromali monsters. You can special summon this card from your graveyard and face up defense position. You can't activate the effect of card effects on the turn you activate this card, except for Chromali cards. You can only use one Chromali Never Disc once per turn, and only once that turn. So, this is the searcher. Um, for the most part, it can pretty much search out any card in the deck. Except for itself, of course, but yeah. So, then we have uh, Aztec Mass Golem. Uh, during your turn, if you activated a Chromali spell card previously this turn, you can special summon this card from your hand, and you can only control one at a time. I, I debated on putting it at one, but I thought two might be good, so say they get rid of it by a bottomless or something, and I still have one in my hand, I can get the other one out. They are level fours, and they're 1500 attack, which is a high attack for these guys. Then we have uh, Chromali Golden Jet. Once per turn, you increase the levels of all Chromali monsters you control, or currently control by one. So this helps me get into some of the Xy monsters, hopefully. I don't know, this deck could just burn out quick. I hope it doesn't, because these cards are cool. They look awesome. The artwork is really good. I like that. And the whole Maya, Aztec, all that stuff, it looks really awesome. Oh, I didn't even notice what this card actually was, but they go together. Okay, so uh, the Crystal Bones. If your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. When you do, you can special summon one Chromali monster from your hand or graveyard except for the bones. So this is another Cyber Dragon type thing, but it's level 3. 
So that's awesome. And you can like I could go into a rank three if I wanted to, or get the big guys out. So it just depends. So there's three of those in there for the special summons. Then we have Crystal Skulls, which a lot of these I could probably drop down to two apiece. And I might do that. Let's see if I drop two, three, four, five. That would get me down to 43. And then I could probably, let's see, drop him. Drop one of those. And then, um, I mean, I didn't even count that. So I could drop one of those. And we, uh, let's try that. Because, yeah. That one I want to keep there, though. Yeah. Um, okay, where were we? There. Now let's go here. If your opponent controls a monster and you control mo no monsters, you can special... Okay, that was where I was at. Um, we'll drop one of him. That'd be fine. This guy I'm keeping at three, though. Then we got the Crystal Skull. If you control a face-up Chromali monster, you can discard this card to your graveyard. Add one Chromali monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand, except for the Crystal Skull. You can only use the effect once per turn. So, he's another searcher, which is nice. And that cleaned up the deck a lot. Uh, we'll drop one of those. I'm just trying to thin it out a little bit as we go here. Then we got this guy, which I am keeping at three. Uh, the Guardian Nut. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon one Chromali monster from your hand. And if you do, this card's level becomes the current level of that special summon monster. So, any of these big monsters, if I spend normal summon them, I can special summon one of those and then Xy straight off the bat, which is nice. Now, this is where the cards, I'm not exactly sure if they're the right ones I need. So, I have the number C6 Chromali Chaos Atlantis. And you can use three level sevens, or you can use this guy, which I think I need this one the rank 5 or higher XE monster you control special summon from your extra deck one number C or C XE monster that is one rank higher than that monster you control by using it as an XE material this special summon okay okay when it rank 5 or higher yeah see I'm pretty sure yeah you can only use it once per duel so that's only there's only one. I'm pretty sure that's how you get this guy out. If I'm mistaken, please tell me. I also have these, which I don't know if this works. Third one face up XC monster you control special summon from your extra deck one number C or C monster with the same type as the monster you control but one rank higher. Using it as X material. Uh, then, if possible, detach one material from a monster your opponent controls and attach it to the summon material as an exit material. So I'm thinking I can use this as well, but I'm not exactly sure. This is where I need help with this, because I've never used the sea monsters. But then I have a foolish burial, because these guys can bring back stuff. Then we have Chromali Technology. Target one Chromali monster in your graveyard, banish it, then look at the top two cards of your deck. Add one of them to your hand and send the other to the graveyard. You can only activate one Chromali Technology per turn. You cannot special summon mo any monsters the turn you activate this except for Chromali monsters. So it's like sort of a... Uh... Pot of Duality for Chromalis, except you have to banish one. Then there's the, the rank up, and then two MSTs. There's only a few cards in here that aren't Chromali cards. I needed a way to get rid of back row, so I just turned two MSTs. Then we have Chromali Pyramid Eye Tablet. It just increases the attack of all Chromali monsters by 800. They desperately need it, considering most are really, really low. Uh, then here's the field spell, uh, Chromali City Babylon. Once per turn, you can banish one Chromali monster from your graveyard, then target one Chromali monster in your graveyard with the same level as the banished monster and special summoner. So, yeah. 
now that I'm running low on monsters, I don't know how well that's going to work. It might. I mean, this deck could fly and be really good. I don't know. I hope it is. Then we have two Wabaku, two Mirror Force, uh, Stonehenge Method. When a face-up Promali monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, it's sent to the graveyard. Special summon one level four or lower Promali monster from your deck in face-up defense position. It cannot change its battle position. So, yeah. Then we have one Call of the Haunted. That's it for the main deck. I mean, I could drop the call because everything else special summons everything else, but eh. Alright, now for the extra deck. This card is awesome. <laughs> Alright, it takes three level sevens, or I can use the rank up, which is probably the best way to do it. If you activate any of this card's effects this turn, once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent could. Or wait a minute, no, no, no. That. If you activate any of this card's effect, your opponent can no further damage, takes no further damage this turn. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls, equip that target to this card as an equipped spell card whose effect makes this card gain a thousand attack. If this card has number six, Chromalia Atlantis, as an XE material, this card gains this effect. You can detach three XE materials from this card, send all number monsters equipped by this card effects to the graveyard, make your opponent's life points 100. That's insane. They can't take any more damage the turn you activate it. Fine. That gives them one turn to do something before you just murder their face. So. It's a uh, Chromali Chaos Atlantis. Then we have Chromali Atlantis. Two level six monsters. When this card is XE summoned, you can target one number monster in your graveyard. Equip that target to this card. Equip. Okay. This card gains attack equal to half the attack of the equipped monster. Once the attack, or once per turn, you can detach one material from this card to send. The monster equipped by this effect to the graveyard have your opponent's life points. You cannot co conduct your battle phase at turn you activate this effect. So, these things just decimate your opponent if you can get them pulled off. Have your opponent's life points? That's awesome. Then we have, uh, what is it? Kromali Machu Mech. Okay. So, each one of these I'm running three of. Two level fives, which if uh, I have a monster, I can get that out easy. Uh, once per turn, you detach one material from this card uh, to target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the difference between its original attack and its current attack. And if you do, this card gains attack equal to the damage inflicted. So if they have a monster that gains lots of attack, then this card will come in handy. Otherwise. It's just a 2400 beater. That's about it. Then we have uh, Chromali Chateau Hayuk. I think so you say it. Two level four Chromali monsters. Once per turn during either player's turn. Oops. You can detach one material from this card. Target one face up monster your opponent controls. That monster's attack becomes zero until the end of the turn. You contribute one Chromali monster to target one monster your opponent controls. This current level, current attack is different from the original, destroy that target. So technically, if I had this out, and I got this out, these two could work really well together. Like really, really well together. I think they're the same card. Like they have the same art, just one's in a bubble, one's not. Yeah, for the most part. <laughs> so if I can get him out then him out then we just yeah are the different numbers different 133 136 then we have Chromali Crystal Chrononaut two level threes uh, once per turn if this card is targeted for an attack you can detach one material from this card this turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Also, your opponent takes any battle damage you would take from battling, from battles involving this card. Wow, I like that. Nice. 
so that is the deck um, I can see it working I really can see it working it's going to take some practice and I'm not going to master it the first turn I know that that's that's a given um, but any suggestions you have for this for this deck I would really like to see them I really would because um, like I said it it looks like it could really work but it also looks like it could fail horribly but I'm gonna call it there so if you like which is all leave a like if you want to see more hit that sub button uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one peace